أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله على نعمة الإيمان الحمد لله على نعمة القرآن الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله لقد جاءت رسل ربنا بالحق صلوا على رسولنا محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ونبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته This is the presentation 3 Theory of Probability of Narrations and this presentation about new definitions of narrator characteristics Let's begin with uh, this presentation, with the definition of narration. Narration is the transition of information between the source and interlocutor, or in another words, transferring the knowledge from one side to the other. Yes, this is uh, the definition of narration, and we have seen it in the previous presentations yes you are uh, seeing now the source side here is the source side and the narrator here and here is interlocutor side the narrator receives the report from the source side and conveys the report to the interlocutor and uh, this is uh, the mission of the narrator One of the definition about the narrators uh, in this presentation three, the number of narration, this is important, the number of narration, the total number of narrations with chains narrated by a narrator. When we are talking about a narrator, we should know how many narrations he narrated in hadith uh, if we do not know about uh, the number of his narrations uh, it uh, then we, it means that we do not know uh, the first important thing about him and uh, the, uh, it's important to know the narrations which uh, have chains which have isnad if narration without isnad, it doesn't matter. We do not, uh, we should not know about them. We are here focused about the narrations with chains, because uh, we are over these chains, over this isnad. We are testing the narrator. We are realizing his narration. So, uh, according to this theory, the important. Uh, uh, about the narrations, the important thing is that it's isnad, it's chain. The total number of narrations with chains. If there is no chain, then we should not uh, calculate uh, it in his narrations. The total number of narrations with chains narrated by a narrator. This, when you when you look at the book of uh, book of narrators, book of Rijal. Uh, you can rarely see uh, the number of the narrations about the narrators. They uh, sometimes they talks about the amount of the narrations. They say he had many narrations or ha or he have few narrations. But there is no certain numbers about the narrators in the book of Rijal or book of Jarh or Ta'dil. Uh, according to this theory, we should, uh, when we are talking about a narrator, first of all, we should count his narrations with Isnad. The second important concept in this theory is the reliability coefficient. We have talked about it in the first presentation, and here we will only, uh, we will not put the detail here, but we only 
uh, uh, give its description. Uh, this is it's uh, symbolized with eta. The reliability coefficient of a narrator is the arithmetic mean of his percentages of success in his all narrations with chains. With chains. Uh, according to this theory, we are looking about the successfulness of the narrator in his narration and we calculate this success over his peers uh, the ones who received the same report from the same source we compare their uh, report and uh, over this comparison, comparison we uh, calculate the reliability coefficient of a narrator so it is the arithmetic mean of his percentages of success in, il, in his all narrations. The reliability coefficient shows us how, how much we can uh, trust this narration, this narrator in his narration and how much his success, uh, how uh, much he could succeed, how much he succeeded in his narration. This reliability coefficient about his uh, successfulness in his narration. And now, power. This is one of the important uh, concepts in this uh, theory. And it is a combined definition of reliability coefficient and number of narrations of a narrator. Why uh, did we need to produce this uh, concept, power about, the narrate, about a narrator? Because uh, assume that a narrator achieved a reliability coefficient, for example, 70% uh, he could achieve a reliability coefficient, but with few ahadith, for example, with 10 ahadith, with 10 narrations, he uh, achieved 70% of reliability coefficient. Now, imagine a narrator achieves the same reliability coefficient with 1000 narrations. You could uh, notice the difference between them. One of them achieved 70% uh, of reliability coefficient with 10 hadith, with 10 narrations and the other one achieves the same reliability coefficient with 1000 narrations. What is the difference between them? According to reliability coefficient they are uh, same. But according to power the difference uh, appears in the power because power a combined definition of reliability coefficient and number of narrations of a narrator. Uh, about the detail, you can look at my book uh, Nafia Mawla Ibn Omar. I have already there uh, calculated his power and uh, my, suggest my suggestion, suggestion about how calculating the power, you can find it in that book. And now narrator, narrator mo model. This is a categorical definition. Shows the circumstance of the narrator in terms of obtaining and transmitting the narration. Uh, about the detail, you can look at. You may look at the presentation two. At that presentation, we uh, talked about the models of narrators. Narrator model model shows us uh, about the narrator if he is witness narrator, for example, in terms of obtaining the narration, or if he is a hearer narrator, or uh, should he is a collector narrator, or in terms of transmitting the narration, he may be sharer narrator or distributor narrator. So narrator model shows us his state in obtaining and transmitting 
the hadith and also it indicates uh, if the narrator an amateur narrator or a professional narrator and his uh, if uh, should he is from early per period or from the next generations narrator model talks about uh, many things gives about gives uh, uh, information about the narrator and his situation in hadith network and now historical personality this is a numer numerical value indicates how likely a person is historical through this uh, numeric value we can understand uh, if the person uh, lived in the history or how likely a person is historical it can be calculated over uh, the narrators for example uh, think about a scholar think about a narrator a teacher and uh, about his students mm, narrate narrating us uh, about him whenever they narrate uh, something from him at the same time they approve that approves about his ex existence they want to say to us that there the, there was someone uh, named uh, like that and we heard him saying that so over his students and their narrations it's possible uh, to calculate the historical personality of somebody in the history about the detail you can also look at my book Nafia Mawla Ibn Umar uh, I have already put there my suggestion uh, how to calculate the historical personality of a narrator and now teachers profile a side view of the relationship of a narrator with his teachers it's important to know the relationship between a narrator and his teachers in books of Jarh wa Ta'deel and books of uh, Rijal you can find the, the name of the teachers but for example you cannot find how many narrations 